And it came to pass on the day that the Lord spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am a man of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy, thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt, and bring forth mine armies, and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt, and bring out the children of Israel from among them. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them. So did they. And Moses was fourscore years old, and Aaron fourscore and three years old, when they spake unto Pharaoh. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and cast it before Pharaoh shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and it became a serpent. And Pharaoh also caused the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goeth out unto the water. And thou shalt stand by the river's brink, against he come, and the rod, which was turned unto a serpent, shalt thou take in thine hand, and thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. Thus saith the Lord, In this thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood, and the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink. The Egyptians shall loathe to drink of the water of the river. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying to Aaron, Take thy rod, and stretch out thine hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did so, as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod, and he smote the waters that were in the rivers, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died, and the river stank. And the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments. And Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them, as the Lord had said. 
Pharaoh uh, turned and went into his house. Now that he set his heart to this also, and all the Egyptians digged round about the river for water to drink, for they could not drink of the water of the river. And seven days were fulfilled, and after that the, door, the Lord had spent the river. The Lord spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, Behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs. The river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thine house, and into thine bedchamber, and upon thy bed, and into the house of thy servant, and upon thy people, and into thine ovens, and into thy me meeting troughs. And the frogs shall come up both on thee, and upon thy people, and upon all thy servants. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying to Aaron, Stretch forth thine hand, that thy rod over the streams of the rivers, over the ponds, and cause frogs to come upon the land of Egypt. And Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantments, and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. Moses said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat for thee and for thy servants and for thy people to destroy the frogs? from thee and thy houses, that they may remain in the river only tomorrow. And he said, Be it according to thy word, that thou mayest know that there is none like unto the Lord our God, and the frogs shall depart from thee, and from thine houses, from thy servants, and from thy people, that shall remain in the river only. Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh. Moses cried unto the Lord because of the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses. And the frogs died out of the houses, out of the villages, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together on heaps, and the land stank. And when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened his heart, and hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thine rod, and smite the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so. For Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth, and it became lice in man and in beast. All the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth lice, but they could not. So there were lice upon man, upon beast. And the magicians said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh. Lo, he cometh forth unto the water, and say unto him, Lo, thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou wilt not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies upon thee, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thy houses. And the houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies, and also the ground whereon they are. And I will sever in that die the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, so that no swarm of flies shall be there, to the end that thou mayest know 
that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth and I will put a division between my people and thy people. Tomorrow shall this sign be. And the Lord did so. And there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh and into his servants, servants' houses and into all the land of Egypt. The land was corrupted by reason of the swarm of flies. And Pharaoh called for Moses and for Aaron and said, Go ye, sacrifice to your God the land. And Moses said, It is not meet so to do, for we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians to the Lord our God. Lo, shall we sacrifice the abominations of the Egyptians before their eyes? And will they not stone us? We will go three days' journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he shall command us. And Pharaoh said, I will that you go, that you sacrifice the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you shall not go very far away. Entreat for me. And Moses said, Behold, I go out from thee. I will entreat the Lord that the swarms of flies may depart from their Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people tomorrow. But let not Pharaoh deal deceitfully again any more in not letting the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. And Moses went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord, and the Lord did according to the word of Moses. And he removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh from his servants and from his people. There remained none, not one. And Pharaoh hardened his hurt this time also. Neither would he let the people go.